Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Thursday, April 25th, 2024. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BDTV. I'm Ruby Saltzman. And I'm Jacqueline Bornstein. Dr. Hines is back. Good morning, Dr. Hines. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning, Ruby. And good morning, Westfield High School. Today's testing message is mostly geared toward freshmen since our ninth graders have not taken part in state testing yet this year. Freshmen, as you get ready to test next week, I have a few reminders about devices and supplies. First of all, you need to bring your fully charged school-issued Chromebook to school testing each day. We have a limited number of spare Chromebooks, so we need you to bring in your Chromebook. Secondly, if you don't normally use your school-issued Chromebook, please turn it on over the weekend so that it can update itself. Third, please review the directions for making sure your version of Chrome is updated. It's in the email I sent to you and your parents last week, and we also reviewed it here on BDTV in March. Fourth, please make sure that your Chromebook is powered off when you enter the building. If you arrive and realize it was on overnight, please turn it off and on again. Fifth, please bring a pencil as well as a recreational book to read in case you finish testing early on any of the days. And lastly, on Wednesday and Thursday, you will need wired earbuds or headphones for English testing. Now, some of you are young enough that you've been using Bluetooth headphones your whole life. So you might be wondering, where can I get a set of wired headphones? My suggestion to you is to go to a family member, a parent, older sibling, aunt, uncle, and ask them about their days using an iPod. You remember these. They're devices like a smartphone, but just for audio and video files. You can say to them, hey, when you had your iPod and you were listening to Black Eyed Peas or Lady Gaga or Coldplay on it, what kind of headphones did you use? And they will inevitably jump up and go over to some drawer where they'll find these earbuds and they'll give them to you. They might think you suddenly want to listen to some of those throwback tunes and, you know, I could think of worse things to do. But either way, say thank you and bring them for testing. If you have any questions about testing devices or any supplies, please stop by Office A to ask. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hines. Tomorrow is the spring dance for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Buy tickets in advance today or tomorrow during every lunch period. You cannot buy tickets at the door. To buy a ticket, you must have $10 cash and your ID ready. The dance starts at 7.30 p.m. and goes until 9.30 p.m., but everyone must arrive by 8 p.m. If you have an outside guest, please email Ms. McDermott. If you like space, cowboys, and open mics, then you should come to Folio's Space Cowboy Coffee House. It will be tomorrow night at 6 p.m., $5 at the door, but performers get in free. Seniors, there is a mandatory prom meeting on Monday, April 29th at 8.45 a.m. in the auditorium. Please bring your student ID to check in. Also, the class of 2024 t-shirts are the sale ends tomorrow. Email Ms. Brighton back and Ms. DeCastro with any questions. The Westfield Debate Club will have an interest meeting today after school in room 236. Information will be provided by the travel debate team who qualified and competed at the National Debate Championship last weekend. The club is looking to train new members for the next competition season. Come to the DECA meeting today in Cafeteria B to learn about future competitions and events. This meeting is strongly encouraged and all new members are welcome. The Fencing Club's third meeting will be next Tuesday in room 233 and they will discuss the technique and coordination required to succeed within the sport. Make sure to join the Google Classroom with code AJRWQP5 and snacks will be provided. The Speaking Out Support Club invites you to a safety and self-defense seminar on Tuesday at 3 in the wrestling gym. Come to learn safety and self-defense tips from the Westfield Police Department in honor of Sexual Assault Awareness Month. No self-defense experience is necessary. If you are interested, you must RSVP by scanning the QR code on this flyer. Any questions, please see Ms. Legan. Attention rising juniors and rising seniors who are interested in becoming a transition leader in the fall. You need to apply for this position by completing the Google Form application in your email or on the Council Google Classroom. If you're a junior transition leader this fall, you must also complete this application to be considered for a leadership position next year. Additionally, the Counseling Department is seeking students to fulfill the role of Counseling Ambassadors, a new peer leadership opportunity that will assist the counseling staff and new students in a variety of ways throughout the school year. The deadline to submit the application for these positions is this Friday. Please feel free to reach out to Ms. Bassalone, the Director of Counseling, Ms. Hickey, or Mr. McGarrigan, the Transition Coordinators, with any questions you may have. We now go to sports with Sarah Rooney. Good morning, WHS. I'm Sarah Rooney, and here's your BDTV sports update. Yesterday, baseball had a huge win over Cranford 
Boys tennis crushed SBF 4-1, and boys golf lost to Oratory Prep 156-170. to We'll be back in action today at 3.30 against Summit. Also at 3.30, girls golf will have a match against Kent Plays at Fiddler's Elbow Country Club. At 4, softball will travel to Rivals Cranford, and boys tennis will play New Providence. At 4.30, girls lacrosse will host Kent Place for Senior Day, and at 5.30, boys volleyball will play away at SPF. Finally, at 6, girls flag football will host Union. That's all for today's sports sport. Back to you. Thanks, Sarah. If you would like to submit and ask what you read, visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV. And have an amazing birthday, Jacqueline.